All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really, two, I'm gonna show you two really easy ways to represent sub subtraction of fractions in a way that kind of makes makes everything understandable. You, you don't have to do all that fancy borrowing and all that sort of stuff. So let's get started. And what we're gonna do is, uh, let's say we're gonna start with four and a third minus two and three fourths. All right, so we know all the standard algorithm stuff, but here's what we're gonna do. Uh, instead, I'm gonna represent four and one third. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and one third. Now, one third means I'm gonna have to shade in not the entire thing. So there's one hole, there's two holes, there's three holes, there's four holes, and then one third. All right, so there we go. There's our four and one third. And now what we wanna do is we want to represent subtracting two and three fourths. All right, well, subtracting two is super duper easy. All we have to do is cross off one hole and two holes, and there we go, we're done. We've subtracted two holes. And so right now we have two holes left over plus a third. But now, so I might as well kind of cross this off and say, hey, all right, we've subtracted the two. But now we have to subtract that three fourths. So what do we have right now? We now have, uh, well, now we have two and a third, but we still need to take away that three fourths. All right. so. It's easier to take, subtract that three fourths from one of these whole numbers than it is to subtract this three fourths from the one third. All right, so let's do it. Let's subtract that three fourths from either one of these holes. So I'm gonna just cut one of these holes into fourths, and then I'm gonna chop off or cross off three of those fourths, one, two and three. So I have officially crossed off uh, two and three fourths and look what I'm, I've got left. So I'm officially done with crossing off the three fourths. What do we have left? Well, we have, let's see, we have one hole and that's right here. And then we have a fourth and a third left over plus one fourth plus one third. And that's gonna be our final answer. At this point, we know how to get common denominators. It's gonna be 12, so it's gonna be three twelfths and four twelfths. Uh, if you're not sure uh, how to do that, I got some videos for you, you could check them out. And then we add them together and we get one and seven twelfths. All right, so that's using the area or a tape diagram model to represent subtracting two and three fourths, and we kind of do it in chunks. We begin by crossing off that whole number, and then because we need to cross off that remaining fraction, we just remove that fraction from, from one of the whole numbers, and we're good to go, aren't we? Okay, now we could represent that same problem on a number line. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. Uh, we wanna think about subtraction as kind of like an addition problem. Two and three fourths plus what is gonna get us to four and one third? So it's really saying what is the distance from two and three fourths up to four and one third? That's what we wanna do. We wanna find the distance from here up to here. And we don't have to do it in one fell swoop. We could do it in chunks. So let's do it in chunks. And there's a lot of different ways we could do it in our chunks, but I'm gonna start by a little baby step of one fourth. That's gonna put us to three. And then I'm gonna do a one whole step and that's gonna give us to four. And then we only have one last little baby step of one third to go. And we now know the distance. All we have to do is add one whole plus one fourth plus one third. And we already know how to do that. Um, and so that's one plus three twelfths plus four twelfths. And that gives us one whole and seven twelfths as our answer for that subtraction problem. So folks, we got two different methods. One, we've got kind of like an area model where we're removing from tapes. 
And then the second one, we have a line model where we're really thinking about what do you have to add to the small number to get to the bigger number. And that wraps up subtracting fractions that would require borrowing, but we're not going to borrow. We're going to do something that makes, makes sense instead.